The United Teachers of Dade marching in Doral on the last day of school today to protest what the governor calls his anti-woke agenda. Local Times Hatsel Vela reports from Miami. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Protesting what they call a surge in attacks on education coming from Tallahassee. We are upset about what's happening. We see these as fascist attacks. The president of the teachers union calls them egregious laws, mentions several like school vouchers. They're trying to privatize public education. Laws, they say, try to disband unions or banning classroom instruction about sexual orientation and gender identity at all grade levels. Issues, they argue, are driving teachers away. Since January, there's been over 200 resignations. Daniela Fernandez. At this graduation on this last day of school, we caught up with the Maida School Superintendent Jose Dotres. Be courageous. Tells us there are close to 20,000 graduates this year, $606 million in scholarships awarded to seniors across the district. This was a school year when students finally came back full time to in person learning following the pandemic, which left behind a lot of learning loss. We are seeing growth. We're seeing growth both in mathematics and in reading. We also asked him about politics in the classroom. The landscape has definitely changed. Questions about students who identify as LGBTQ and the perceived attack from Tallahassee. We have to attend to all students. The individuality of every single one of our students is important. Miami-Dade schools recently grabbing national headlines after books were moved around following one parent's subjection. We've looked at it and the committee did follow the proper procedures. And while it is the last day here in Dade schools, now they start a new summer program, a very comprehensive program that aims to help kids advance. Information on that you can find on local10.com. We should tell you the last day of school in Broward County is tomorrow. Reporting from Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.